Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, script fragments which is basically a way to insert uh, a custom web element in your uh, Jira instance. So imagine that you want to insert a custom button or maybe a menu in your Jira interface. Let us say you want your users to click on a button and when they click on a button, something will happen. And maybe you just want to insert, insert a custom element somewhere, custom web element in your uh, Jira interface. So you can do that uh, using uh, script fragments in a uh, script runner for Jira. So my requirement is very simple. In this example, I want to uh, give you one uh, use case one example where uh, uh, I want my my end user to search on Google. So let us say if uh, someone is looking at this uh, Jira issue and uh, uh, the, the title of this particular uh, Jira issue is let us say this is my story which is my issue summary. So I want uh, uh, some ability here on this particular uh, interface where end users can probably click on a button search on Google. So we basically need to insert a button somewhere that uh, anyone can click and it will take them to Google and it will also search uh, based on the title or maybe some other field in our Jira issue. So this can be very useful when uh, you want your end users to first search for information and maybe you just want to, to provide them uh, this uh, uh, handy way of uh, searching basically. So let us see how we can do that. And there is also one more thing which I want to do. I want this uh, search button to be available only my only when my let us say priority is high or highest, or maybe some other field is uh, updated. Maybe I want to check for uh, a label or maybe I want to check for some specific field. So I want to keep it very simple so that you can also follow this uh, example. So if you go back to your uh, Jira administration section and if you take a look at this section called script fragments, here you will find uh, this button create script fragment. If you click on it, you will be presented with the uh, different options here. So what uh, we want to do, we want to insert a custom web item. So if you click on it, it will ask you to uh, provide a name of uh, uh, your uh, button or a link, for example. So I want to insert uh, a button and I want uh, this uh, button to say search on Google. So this would be my button label or text on top of it. And uh, you also need to specify some key. So let us say the key is search Google, something like this. And uh, we want to now specify, I'm doing it in uh, reverse order. I'm starting with the button menu text, uh, but uh, you can also start from top if you want. Uh, so basically the point here is that we need to specify the location where this button will appear. And when you look at your Jira interface, you have different locations like uh, you have this uh, top navigation, uh, which is always uh, available for all the users. But uh, uh, we want this button to be applicable on a specific issue. So for issues, when you're working with issues, there is something called as uh, operations. So let me search for operations and there is something called as operations top level. So operations is basically this uh, section on top where you have uh, these buttons like edit, comment, assign and more. And then you have buttons for your workflow. So this is basically your operations section and uh, operations top level is basically uh, these buttons that appear on top. And I want to... Uh, um, to also add a condition that uh, only only display uh, this uh, this specific uh, button when the priority is highest. So uh, let us say if I select my priority as highest, only then this uh, button should uh, appear in my uh, on my Jira issue. And uh, what will happen when you click on that button? So basically what you can do here, you can uh, uh, specify that 
I want users to basically go to Google. So you can say navigate to a link uh, and you can also specify your, your link uh, URL. So I want my link URL to be uh, HTTPS and uh, I'll probably type in www.google.com and uh, if I do a search on Google very quickly, if I quickly do my Google search to specify, uh, I, I just want to see the uh, the query that is built on top. So all we need to do, we need to use this, this uh, search. Uh, we basically need to build a query for Google uh, and we need to pass something like this. I'll probably copy everything and I'll uh, paste it in my uh, links link field here. So when you click on uh, the button, your URL google.com will open. But at the same time, we also want to pass the issue summary. So right now we are using this hard coded, coded text called test. But to use your issue summary, you can uh, do something like this issue dot summary. And uh, you can click on the preview button just to understand uh, uh, the XML or basically this is the web item that uh, will be that is now generated or it will be basically uh, inserted in your Jira instance on your specific uh, issue. And if you click on the add button, <clears throat> this should basically be installed. So let us go back to our uh, issue. And uh, right now there is nothing, there's no button here that says uh, search on Google. Let me refresh it and uh, let us see if we can see any button. I'll probably close my google.com window, my tab. So let us wait for it to open. It is taking some time. I think my Jira instance is uh, slow today, but that is all right. We'll wait for it. One of my add-on is expiring soon. I need to renew it. Okay, so we have uh, uh, the issue which is refreshed and uh, still I don't see any button on top that says search on Google because my priority is not highest. Let me see if uh, I can uh, change it to highest. And uh, do we have our button that should magically appear now? Let us see. So now we have this button called search on Google. And if you click on this button, uh, you can uh, already see this, that uh, this will be this, this basically issue summary will be searched on Google and it can be really useful because when people are searching for, let us say, when people basically raise tickets, uh, you want to encourage them to search on Google or maybe you want uh, to maybe call a web hook or maybe you want to call some remote or some rest endpoint, maybe within Jira or maybe outside Jira. So the whole idea here is to basically tell you how we can uh, manipulate the Jira UI by inserting some web elements. In this example, I showed you how we can insert a button, but there are so many things that we can do. I'll probably uh, give you more examples later, but uh, uh, I wanted to introduce script fragments and uh, I hope you learned something new and uh, you found this uh, video useful. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.